Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today I'm doing another version of Jeep Plays All the Games, this time with the Indie Speedrun 3.0. This is the third annual Indie Speedrun. All these games remain 48 hours. I don't know if there was a theme or anything. Nothing was listed. But I'll be playing each one for about a minute. There's 140 entries, about 10 games per video. Link to the individual games in the description so you can check them out. And all my info will also be in the description so you can check me out. Feel free to like, comment with your favorite, and subscribe. And at the end of this, I'll probably have some sort of article on, of my favorites up on Fireside. As always, thank you very much for watching. Next. We're playing Space Bird Migration. This looks adorable. Home net nest used to be a peaceful planet, but now it is being attacked by the Clown Empire. Before they completely destroy us, we have no choice but to migrate to a new home. Thankfully, there are a few habitable planets nearby. I am Chickadee. I must bring the chicks safely to these new planets or risk full clown destruction. A new migration has begun, saving as many chicks as you can by picking them up at the home nest and finding your way to new planets to drop them off while avoiding the evil clown empire. Alright. Slow down. I always get going way too fast in space related games, you know? Just start going way too fast. Oh, I ended up getting hit by a rock. You and your friends are dead. Well, I brought some back to the planet. Or to a new planet. Break it, break it. Okay. Nope. Ugh. Maybe it just loops. Nah. Gosh darn it. Nope. Next. We're playing Sand Castle Conspiracy. Alright, there we go. Just making sure I know all my buttons. This is like dash, like this is dash. I think I've already lost a ton of lives, way too many lives. Can't tell when they're attacking me really. Both get stuck the silly slimes. Let's see, but why? Why did I die, game? Why? I like how it's different each time. That's really nice. I like games that have um, a lot of replay value, and I think part of replay value is not having all the levels the same when it's such a simple game like this. I don't know why I'm losing lives, though. I need to put them as far as possible away. I kind of like zipping around the level. See, it seems like they've got a bigger tack area. Than I do, like they can be farther away from me than I can. Yeah. Next, we're playing Destroyer of a Thousand Worlds. Um, let's see. here, start again. Oh, I think I fucked up. It's really hard for me to uh, in the to play these games because they don't quite fit on my screen because there's like three different scrolly bars. It's hard to configure. In the cheery darkness of the near future, there are too many Earths. So Shadow Supreme Council was. Pointed to solve the horrifying problem, their solution, the Earth Generator, this powerful starship, has the capacity to generate Earth on command, making it perfect weapon for eliminating all the pesky habitat satellites. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, by the way, the Supreme Council has a massive stockpile of power-ups, which you are willing to share a few, share willing to share with you. Okay. So occasionally we can pick up. I like how the sun just... Is eating it. Oh, so we're giving all the planets to the sun. Sun, take all of these. You know, fuck everything up. So we're kind of blasting these Earths into the sun and hoping not too many of our blasts join the atmosphere. <laughs> kind of fucking shit up. Alright. Some of these are really far out, so we're gonna have to get back here. This is quite neat. Next. We're playing Delicious Plankton. Command your minnows through the jaws of the big fishes. Steal their food, survive, and get an enormous scoop shell. How to play space to enter, hold, eat food, escape. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, got it. I got this. I needed a test round. Now I know how it goes. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I need to refresh the game. Alright. Let's try again. I 
Uh, I tried to get out, but I was just a second too, too soon, or too late, I should say. Minnows have been vanquished for a miserable life, stealing for food and dying for avarice. I don't know what that means. Let's try again. Alright, so you gotta get your timing dead. I was dead before I even got in there, really. I can't go in too early. I figured maybe they could fit in little cracks of the teeth. This is a pretty cool little game. Next. We're playing Mystery at Shipwreck. Night. Nice. I've been chasing them for months. I'm starting to give up. This crime ring is extremely elusive. The bar is their first lead I've had in weeks. It gives me hope. I will catch them and I will bring them to justice. Alright. All these graphics are nice. Hey kiddo, can't you see I'm spending some quality time with my grandson? If you insist. What's this? Nope. Nope. This is a cool little game. I sense lots of mini games here. Nope. Don't take it too hard, kid. Alright. I'm trying again. Oh, five coins now. That's your penalty for losing. It becomes harder. Staying in these middle cubes seems to be safest. Ah, oh, shit. Admire your gusto. Let's do about the bar. It's my favorite drinking hole. I like coming here after a long day of painting. It revitalizes my spirit. It throws a fish into the air. I have to play again to get more? Oh, wait, just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding. I'm an artist. Paint flows in my blood. Actually, one of my paintings hangs over there by the counter. Brings back good memories. Oh, that's pretty neat. Next. Well, actually, let's, let's check out. Let's check out this guy. They look sad. Oh, hello. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Oh, so you just have to do more of these little mini games. No, oh, I like this. I like this very much. Next. We're playing God of Chips. So you want to be a fake god, then, huh? Well, it's not as easy as you think. You have to keep your followers happy enough to keep their faith on you. You scare enough so they obey your commands. The good thing is that if they believe in you, you can always make them give you gold. Also, miracles are easy to perform. Just throw away some of your chips. Let's get to work then. See these colored valves down here? Yep. That's how you control the stone idol. Make different combinations by activating them in different orders, and different things will happen. Your followers will work for you mining coal and gold. They will only work for you while they feel that they really must work. Make them give you 250 gold ores, and you win the game. Lose all the followers, and you lose. Their commands get started. 3, 2, 1 will make them give coal, which becomes energy. 1, 2, 3 will bless them with some heavenly goods. Alright. So 3, 2, 1. Give me coal. Thank you. 1, 2, 3 will make them happy. Because they get chips. 2, 1, 3. What does that do? Earthquake. That doesn't sound good. We'll go back to asking for coal. How about one, one, one? Oh, just kidding. One, three, two. Toggle water. I like my water. Two, three, one. Did you see three, one? So three first. Three, one, two. Demand gold. Yes, demand all the gold. This is pretty neat. Next. That last game was actually the last game entered in the jam that I could play. I thought I was going to be able to play a couple more, but they turned out to be both Mac builds, and I can't actually play Mac builds because I have a Windows computer. So, as always, thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. I'll have an article of my favorites out on Fireside if you want to keep a lookout for that. That's it. Bye.